Jordan's Prince Hamza vows to defy house arrest orders. The former Crown Prince of Jordan has said he will defy government orders to stop communicating with the outside world and remain indoors. Prince Hamza bin Hussein, 41, said he had been placed under house arrest on Saturday in videos given to the BBC. He was accused of plotting with foreign entities to destabilize the kingdom. The former heir to the throne denies conspiracy, but he has accused Jordan's leaders of corruption and incompetence. Prince Hamza was first in line to succeed his half-brother, King Abdullah, as Jordan's head of state until 2004, when he was removed as crown prince. King Abdullah designated his son as heir instead. In another development, Israeli businessman Roy Shapushnik, who says he is a personal friend of Prince Hamza, confirmed he had offered to fly the prince's wife and family to Europe to stay at his house. He issued a statement after Jordanian Deputy Prime Minister Ayman al-Safadi said such an offer had been made by a man with links to an unnamed foreign security service. Mr. Shapushnik has reportedly denied ever being a member of Israel's intelligence agency. What does the prince say? On Sunday, Jordan's opposition released a recording in which a defiant Prince Hamza said he would not obey orders from the authorities. I don't want to make moves and escalate now, he said in the audio recording posted on Twitter. But I'm not going to obey when they say you can't go out, you can't tweet, you can't communicate with people, and you're only allowed to see your family. I think it's a bit unacceptable, he added. The public rift between Prince Hamza and King Abdullah is unprecedented. Tensions within the royal household, however, have reportedly been present for some time. Jordan is a constitutional monarchy, but the royals play a major role in public life and King Abdullah has extensive powers. He can appoint governments, approve legislation and dissolve parliament. The country is also a key Western ally, and reports of Prince Hamza's detention raised fears that the wider region could be destabilized. However, Regional powers and Western allies, including the US and UK, have all voiced support for the king. On Saturday, Prince Hamza released two videos to the BBC in which he claimed he had been placed under house arrest. In the video, Prince Hamza said a senior official had told him he was not allowed to go out or communicate with people because of criticisms of the government or king voiced at meetings where he had been present. The apparent arrest is thought to have followed a visit by the prince to tribal leaders, where he is said to have garnered some support. I am not responsible for the lack of faith people have in their institutions, Prince Hamza said in one of the videos given to the BBC. On Sunday, Deputy Prime Minister Ayman Safadi told a news conference that the prince had been liaising with foreign parties about destabilising the country and had been monitored for some time. He accused the prince of seeking to mobilize clan leaders against the government, adding that the plot had been nipped in the bud at the zero hour. Mr. Safadi said officials had tried to discourage the prince rather than take legal action against him, but Prince Hamza had dealt with this request negatively. He added that at least 16 people, including a former advisor to King Abdullah and another member of the royal family, had been arrested over the plot to undermine the security of the country but no members of the armed forces were said to be among those detained. High-level political arrests are rare in Jordan. The country's powerful intelligence agency, however, has gained extra powers since the pandemic began which has drawn criticism from rights groups. News taken from BBC. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.